Oh, this is Swiftson Gallery. That is Pixie down there. I'm a sailor, Pix. Pix. Hello. Where's Wally? Wally. And Wally. Wally, Wally, Box. Well, this is me, Carrie Swift, and I share this space with Rick Hutchinson, who's right here painting. Say hello. Good. This is a self portrait Rick did. This one, one of Rick's paintings, you see. Uh, so, yeah, this is a whole wall of um, paintings of Scott. It's, it's like a, a, a project that I did. To, to apply to somewhere. I got turned down, but what can you do? Um, that's another picture of Scar that um, I did from a, I did from a dream. This um, is a portrait of my eldest daughter, Hulk. It's a painting inspired by the self-portrait of John Kirby. Um, I thought it was just a lovely, lovely painting, so I kind of nicked the idea. Uh, this is one of my favourite self-portraits. I don't know why, I just like it. I kind of like how, how, um, how I've done the, the uh, light and shade on it. I don't know, anyway, there's a few. I, I also do self-portraits because sometimes when I'm having like a rotten day, rather than writing it in my diary, which I don't have, or you know, or whatever other people do, I will paint a picture. This piano I brought over from uh, Britain, it was in my old gallery in Britain, and uh, it's actually covered with pages of uh, um, that infamous book by the Marquis de Sade, which you shouldn't read, you shouldn't read ever, ever, ever. Uh, there is a notice, don't read the piano. This is one of Rick's, what I think is one of his best pieces. It's uh, Game of Life Cathedral, and it's three-sided and it comprises of three paintings per side. It's for sale. It's one of his biggest pieces. And it all is themed on the, the idea of game. All these pictures, well, most of them, most of them are for sale. I think more of Rick's are for sale than of mine because I like to keep my best portraits as an example if ever I get a commission, ha <laughs> ha. You never know, I am available for commissions to do it to paint portraits. So this is one of Rick's um, favourite paintings of his, of his, wouldn't you say? The, the Foreman. Um, it's part of a series of um, paintings featuring toys. Um, there's a few others. Sorry? And textures. Uh, to toys and textures, yes. There's another one. So there are quite a few. This is more of Rick's textures. What are you working on at the moment? These, some of these are waiting to be framed. Yeah, no, oh, well, that's uh, a painting I gave to Rick for um, Valentine's Day, waiting to be framed. This one I especially like. I can't remember the time. But there, that's lovely. That's lovely. Uh, this is a big painting of um, Mary Magdalene, who um, uh, 
Ashley, who used to work in, in our print shop, modelled Mary Magdalene for me, which I was very grateful for her to do. And uh, it's behind a, 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 a um, it's behind a table at the moment because it's have nowhere to put it otherwise, and it's not got frame on it, so it's it's warping terribly. But there you go. But I, but I do enjoy the bigger paintings. I I do have a sister painting of for that one planned, but I'm going to find somewhere to put this one first. Um, uh, this. Uh, mannequin we we uh, lovingly call uh, Mavis uh, um, I painted to make her look like a real person um, sorry Mavis um, but she's selling t-shirts at the moment this is the sister painting um, of this one excuse the glare I painted while I was still in the UK. Uh, this is the first painting I painted in America and it's of my youngest daughter Scarlett and it's called um, I Am The Sun Coming to America. This one is one of my favourite ones I actually did of Scarlett. I kind of like the way that one turned out. And this one is uh, based on Van Gogh colours. Um, that one's got terrible glare on it, but that's it. Uh, the floor is splattered with paint at the moment, sorry about that, but me and my youngest daughter Scarlett uh, of that picture had a jolly time doing an action painting the other day, um, the Jackson Pollock-esque one. So, and I haven't, I haven't cleaned the floor up because it's a studio and uh, studio floors are meant to be dirty. Not dirt, it's paint. It's not dirt, it's paint. It's paint. Okay. This is something I'm working on at the moment. It's a, uh, a table. And uh, it's going to be a hell of a lot of work, I've decided. <laughs> now you start these things and you think, oh, that's a good idea. Oh, I'm really excited about that. I shall do that and it'll be marvellous and everybody will love it and it'll be fantastic. And then you get into it and start painting it and you think, oh, blimey. What was I thinking? And uh, yeah, so that's the table I'm working on at the moment. And you can actually uh, commission me to paint pieces of furniture. Um, uh, I uh, this is one that I just finished. Oh, it's got Pixie's Pixie's uh, little bed on there. There you go. And I can't remember what it's called because I can't remember what it's called. And there's some more of a Turner because I love Turner. I love that film with uh, what's his name. Oh, we did another one as well. What the, what was it? Oh, it was uh, it was um, him, Thing Me Bob. Oh my God. Anyway, Turner, brilliant. See, I like doing the big paintings. I find them more satisfying, but you know space and what have you. This is Maureen who I brought over. She used to be a an underwear model in Liverpool uh, but we we liberated her, we, we rescued her from such a fate, uh, gave her back her dignity and uh, gave her some clothes and she's also selling t-shirts. That's uh, make art not war which is one of Rick's t-shirts. Uh, this, uh, this one's just a mannequin that I'm painting up. She's unfinished. Well, that's the end of our little tour. I um, hope you enjoyed it. It wasn't too tedious. Um, so I better get this sorted out and, and uploaded. It's going to take me forever to do that because our internet is rubbish. Um, but... Uh, 
and I hope we see you again. Oh, hang on a minute, what's this? Ooh. Oh, I've got five minutes.